Good day everyone, we are from group 8 and we will be reporting about the science curriculum. So to begin with, we are going to introduce first ourselves. I am Clara Femontes Claros together with my teammates, Mamaris Foras, Sir Gerald Lofranco and Mom Janeline Pagnanawot. First, I am going to discuss about the conceptual framework or the science curriculum framework. Science is useful because of its links to technology and industry, which from a national perspective are areas of high priority for development. Science provides ways of making sense of the world systematically. It develops students' scientific inquiry skills, values and attitudes such as objectivity, curiosity and honesty, and habits of mind including critical thinking. All these are useful to the individual student for his own personal development, future career, and life in general. So these skills, values, attitudes, and dispositions are likewise useful to the community that an individual student belongs to and are further useful to the country that he lives in. The learning of science is also important for the nation's cultural development and preservation of its cultural identity. Now, science is most useful to a nation when it's utilized to solve its own problems and challenges, keeping a nation's culture, uniqueness, and peculiarities intact. Now, in the Philippines and around the world, people are talking about science and technology-based world and a knowledge-based economy. Given the expectation and skills required to live successfully in such an environment and the varied problems of the science education in the country, there is a need to rethink what the vision of science education is. The current direction of curriculum development in many countries is towards scientific literacy, where the science education needs of all the students are differentiated from those who have an interest in science careers. Now, for whom is the framework? Now, the science curriculum framework is a resource for curriculum developers, faculty of teacher education institutions, um, teachers, school administrators, and policy makers to design, implement, and assess the content of science curriculum. Specifically, the document will help schools teachers and instructional materials developers in addressing the needs of students to prepare them for the world of work, for pursuing their interest in science and related fields, and to become responsible citizens. It emphasizes the need to learn and use real-life context to enhance learning, develop skills for independent study or self-learning, and inculcates in students the love and desire to acquire learn how to learn skills for school administrators the science curriculum framework will guide them on the selection of quality instructional materials and equipment for science teaching and learning now this framework will also inform policy makers to formulate appropriate legislation as well as allocate the resource to support quality science education. Now, what are the guiding principles of science curriculum framework? First, science is for everyone. This principle recognizes the proactive relationship between science and society. So this means that putting science into the service of individuals and society. Science education should aim for scientific literacy that is operational in understanding oneself common human welfare, social and civic affairs. Now, science is both content and process. Science content and science process are intertwined. The value of science processes is to advance content or body of knowledge. Without content, students will have difficulty utilizing the science process skills. School science should emphasize depth rather breadth coherence rather than fragmentation, and use of evidence in constructing explanation. School science should be relevant and useful. To be relevant and useful, the teaching of science should be organized around situations, problems, or projects that engage the students both as an individual 
and a member of a team. School science should nurture interest in learning. Students are generally interested in problems that puzzle them. They have a natural urge to find solutions. Organizing the curriculum around problems or phenomena that puzzle students helps motivate them to learn. Rather than relying solely on textbooks, teachers are encouraged to use hands-on learning activities to develop students' interest and let them become active learners. School science should demonstrate a commitment to the development of culture of science. A culture of science is characterized by excellence, integrity, hard work, and discipline. School science should promote a strong link between science and technology, including indigenous technology. School science should recognize that science and technology reflect, influence, and shape our culture. The science curriculum should recognize the place of science and technology in every human affairs. It should integrate science and technology in the civic, personal, social, economic, and the values and ethical aspects of life. The curriculum framework is the overall structure for organizing learning and teaching. It ensures that the learning experiences provided to students are commensurate with their abilities to different stages with their ways of perceiving and learning about the world. The framework is not the curriculum itself. Rather, it is a skeleton that provides the basis for strong, organized, and cohesive curriculum. The framework gives an initial picture of the program and is based on certain specifications. This framework is organized around three interlocking components, namely inquiry skills, scientific attitudes, and content and connections. Being interrelated, these components are woven together in order to support the holistic development of scientifically literate individual. The framework sets out what all students should know, understand, value, and be able to do. The framework includes the core content that describes the major science concepts that all students are expected to learn to become scientifically literate as well as the competencies that indicate what students should be able to do and demonstrate. As such, it is envisioned to provide a common curriculum direction so that a more even spread of curriculum support materials are developed and professional development aligned with curriculum change are implemented to the advantage of Filipino students. Now, this framework does not spell out all of the science content that can be included in school science curriculum. Rather, it is organized around core or big ideas which are broad, important understandings that students should understand and retain, long after they have completed their basic education. So these big ideas link seemingly different, isolated, and unrelated facts and phenomena to a coherent whole. They help unify the curriculum to avoid a loosely connected array of topic-driven lessons. Now, the application of knowledge and skills may start with familiar context. It is important that students participate in activities and experience that enable them to build accurate and powerful conceptual connections. As their inquiry skills are developed and their ability to access and use concepts and informations are honed, they are able to make the connections between these concepts and their applications. They begin to describe and explain the relationships between seemingly disconnected phenomena and events. It is the role of the science teacher to help students connect what they already know whenever they encounter a new idea or application. Further, the science teacher should facilitate the transfer of students' knowledge and skills to unfamiliar contexts. Thank you so much and that is the end of my presentation.